you might be a vet if I've got several things in mind, one of which is you're not a snowflake. Let's go. No shit. There I was. Hey, JT, we need to go to the store. Shit. <laughs> I forgot the two things. That is classic. Whether you're a vet or an active duty, you go in to get toothpaste, you walk out with a case of beer from the commissary. I think I still do that today. Baby, we married. You had me a Tricare. <laughs> Meet your new baby. Aww. I swear to fuck, if I see one more AFN commercial, I'm gonna break this fucking thing with the bat. It's after these messages <sighs> from AFN. Manchester. Listen up, mom. It's about safety. Whether you're pumping gas or getting some ass. This motherfucker. <laughs> you know what gets me for you vets is if you call the VA or something, there's two things. One of which is you feel like you're going to commit suicide. They ask that incessantly after you've been waiting on hold for hours. You can imagine my answer. But number two is thank you for your service. So how many vets are tired of that? Clear left. That car's in the bolo list. <laughs> Be careful. You got some debris in the road up there about 50 meters, 12 o'clock. Take a left. Left, 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 left. Will you shut the hell up? <laughs> the shit looked like dark. Hey, not... can you guys go get me some tampons? Uh, I'm not a gynecologist, but I'll take a look. We got this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this time, the most important meal of the fuck. In the military, they do a lot of things right, but you will come up with some wonky ways of fixing things, doing things, you know, kind of, what do they call it, overcoming, adapting, <laughs> like with the tampon example. That doesn't strike me as odd for some reason. Babe, 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 wake up. I think I heard something, wake up. I got this! JT, we working out today? Sun's out, guns out. Work them buns out. Woo! No, guys, uh, I'm busy today. Dude, what about today? You missed yesterday, man. Uh, I got that shoulder thing going on. I'll go with you guys tomorrow. Today, dude? I totally was going to go with you today, but I hurt my leg. Two things. The one about popping out of bed with a firearm. You know, vets, at least me, I don't sleep a lot. Um, I'm not necessarily security happy or concerned. But I would say compared to the average Joe Snowflake or Try Guy, I probably am. Now, I have seen a bunch of guys that were rock star athletes in the Marine Corps, and they get out and they become turds. Kind of like they're displaying here with this guy. He's drinking a beer and eating some Doritos. Doritos, that is. Egg when I was getting out of the car, and it feels like it's going to fall off. Sorry about your leg problems, bro. <laughs> I walked away from everything just to follow a dream. Woo! I used to date an egg seal, but randomly the wet. Did they send a check? Nah. <laughs> SF guy told me he was a door kicker. <laughs> <laughs> What's, up? What's up? You realize your daughter's prom day is going to be here any minute now? Well, man. <laughs> you know, having two girls, uh, I never did that one, but the boys always knew that I was a pretty serious guy. I didn't have to say a lot. They showed up with the respect. Otherwise, I think my daughter would have said, don't show up at all. Sarge, check out the new whip. Guy said I practically stole it. I mean, I paid sticker price, but it came with a bunch of extras. Even threw in a free tank of gas. She's full. Yeah, how many E1s, E2s do two dumb things you see all the time? They go ahead and get the new car they can't afford, and they get the credit card. They think, wow, making a fortune, especially if they get deployed. How many of you guys, put that in the comments, came out of the military, you overseas, deployed pay, whatever, not taxed, you came out with almost nothing, although you think you're living in the barracks, you're eating for free, how you could spend it all on strip clubs and booze, I have no idea. Die, I will always love me. Swear, come pick this shit up! <laughs> Hey guys, hey, hey guys, it's definitely gonna be sunny all day for this battle. <laughs> I got How is you. this even a career field? <laughs> I'm Special Operations 2. Fuck man, you're in the army? What'd you do? Oh, uh, well, I was a ranger. Fuck yeah, I'm a battalion. Well, I was in the A2nd, but I went to ranger school. <laughs> <laughs> you see a lot of those guys, typically they're young guys that now it's you're a SEAL, you were a sniper.
or you were a commando of some type, you know, it's a bad move when you're saying it to a ranger, actually someone in the 75th or in the ranger regiment. Yeah, I went to ranger school. Meanwhile, you were a logistics guy, right? Motherfucker! <laughs> get back! Take two! Hey, welcome back from R&R! How was Slovakia? Awesome, dude. Meet my new wife. Yashvi Yanka, yeah, just to be twisted. All right! How many guys do I remember who came back from, say, Thailand, the Philippines, excluding the SDD factor, they came back with a wife. I can't even count on all my hands and toes. And they were in love, right? They were in love until they got here, got some money, got a kid, and sayonara, jarhead. <laughs> All right, I confess, I have the camo Crocs. Did I buy them? No. Did I give them as a gift, and do I wear them? Yes. So right off the bat, <laughs> that's pretty good. I don't have the full kit. Yeah, I've got the ARs all decked out. Uh, a lot of them were given to me, but this is pretty good. Where are we going again? Gas station for beers. <laughs> Poster. What's up, dude? How you doing? Let me show you around here. Right, Let's go. Right. Nice. Love the place, man. Thanks, man. I got everything you need. I hope uh bedroom score? Ah, you know me too well. <laughs> and bedside protection. Magnum. Hygiene kit high point. Pillow Glock. Bay window MPX. You know, it's funny when I was selling a house, speaking of guns everywhere, bright firearms, the realtor goes, do you know you have pistols all over the house when he was trying to show it? And I said, yeah, isn't that normal? <laughs> so this part, even my children grew up, knew how to handle a firearm, deal with it. And I had did the same thing, not quite to this extent. Toilet 22. Bedside 50. I'm going to sleep like a baby. Hey, Jay. Hey. Guys. Whoa. My leg's broken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My leg's broken. Guys, 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 guys. We can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. Just like we fixed Afghanistan. I think this is worse. <laughs> yeah. It's back to the first part he did where you're just kind of rigging up something. I don't know where the rigging mentality is, like the overcome, adapt, Jerry rig something like this. That's pretty standard fare. SOP for the day, right? Nope. Mission accomplished! Anyways, that was the second time I woke up at a fish. <laughs> Jonah. Yeah, stop telling stories. Where'd the lights go? I have a whole shipping container of Claymores and HED. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it was just a breaker. Does that mean there's no zombie apocalypse? No, you idiots. But I built the fire. You, the fire! <laughs> you guys that don't know, most vets aren't sitting around in body armor or kit. It's extreme. It's almost like vet TV where they take it to the extreme. But it is pretty funny about being prepared. Oh my god! Oh my god, so bad! Events! Come on, fatty! Show your social! What's that? Ah, 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 ah. That's how you do Taco Tuesday! Why is this in my job description? <laughs> this is my power! <laughs> you know, you never realize people's bathroom habits till you're in a squad bay for a duration of time. You realize how disgusting some people are. I could tell you about what I saw at a toilet one time. I thought a python had come through the pipes and died. Imagine this one. Today we're just doing some yard work. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, guys. Why do I do I do I Unfortunately, pranks, jokes that most people would find to be extremely offensive. That's pretty much standard fare for veterans. That includes crass humor, humor that people would find offensive, that snowflakes would need a safe space for, if you can imagine what that entails. Uh, I'm just kidding, Heather. I lost it in the war. Can I get a beer, though? Hey, get that man a beer. There you go, Crispy. <laughs> and you will call somebody... 
They call him Crispy, right? So if someone gets hurt, you'll call him Captain Hook. You'll call him, you fill in the blank. You'll have some name that if you called somebody at your workplace that you'd probably get fired. But in the military, that's a sign of endearment, a sign of love. Like you actually like them if you say that. If you don't come up with a nickname, you don't. You guys have the sickest sense of humor. Yep. <laughs> what do you guys think is, you know you're a vet if. Put that in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.